you guys. And okay. Now it is time to go over our first wiki pack with the golden pack keep an eyes. Oh man, if this weekly pack is not gonna have too many new units, I'm gonna be so disappointed by the game. Let's see, just don't have Bison that's gonna dominate it on the new units, please. Man, okay. View pack. Okay, we're gonna take. I'm. I'm not even gonna take a look at them. Okay, I already seen them by the game. <laughs> Duck, where we said Moth, Pillbug, Magpie. There you go. Our first new unit and our only one in tier one: Frill Dragon, Chinchilla, Mosquito, and Cricket. With honey and blueberry, give one pet a blueberry perk. Prioritize this for enemy random abilities. Doesn't look like we've got too many. I guess we've got snipes, but mm, okay. Interesting. We've got magpie. Maybe we've got some stuff to use it with. Actually, it does look like it. We've got magpie, gazelle, which does use extra gold. Gazelle still busted, by the way. Should be a pretty powerful unit in this weekly. Yeah, should be very. Um, very popular anyway because it's like one of the only new units we've got sea turtle as well in tier 2 for our uh, summons we've got spider sea turtle okay let's see we've got to can with nothing too interesting to pass on so shouldn't be too useful tabby cat with eh no not really koala well koala could be interesting like Sea Turtle, give HP to summons, they don't die in one shot, Quella gives them plus one plus one, but unfortunately it's only one charge and its stats are terrible, so it's not good being used that way. Would have been nice if it uh, would have been an actual in-fight buffer that would buff uh, other units, but... Crab, excuse me, nothing too interesting, Spider plus Pill should be interesting, you, could, you will also get plus HP on the Turtle on Spider plus Pill, which is amazing. Pug. Sure, can you see with Sea Turtle? Why not? Swan, uh, Croissant, Sleeping Pill, Cupcake. Seems like an interesting deal too. We got Croissant from the Sea Turtle. Hopefully, we have more uh, summon stuff to you um, to play with. Have you seen the tomato? No, not yet. We're gonna take a look though. Okay, deal fee Badger, Woodpecker, Dog, Wasp, Okapi. Okapi, oh, okay. Gazelle's bigger brother. Bear, Musk Ox. There you go. Finally, something new. Me Cat. Find the gold build and osprey. Okay, the trumpet mechanic being officially included in the weekly packs. I like it. They are not um, blacklisted anymore. Uh, well, I guess they weren't. Because weekly pack was not really a thing in the beta build. But yeah, I just want to say that they're not blacklisted compared to the uh, strawberry units. Okay. I guess. Should be interesting. There's no reason to lock people away from using the gun. Um, the trumpet mechanic except for just not allowing people to use it because you want them to pay for the golden pack but uh, this it's uh, i still think it's a good idea because it's like a sneak peek like see trumpets golden retriever come on golden pack is cool buy it so yeah i think it's a good idea to have them osprey should be interesting summons technically two summons out of osprey because you get groundhogs and groundhogs give you golden retriever meerkat I guess you've got Magpie, you've got Gazelle, you've got Meerkat, you've got Swan, so the gold build. Not looking bad, you've got Grapes as well. <laughs> okay, Muskrax should be pretty powerful with Spider, easy um, easy thing to go for. You've got a Bear as well. Bear plus Pill equals, equals 2 honey, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I like it. Interesting, uh, interesting. We don't have too many units, but... Oh, also each deal has 9 units now. And guaranteed chocolate in a pack as well. Okay. Well, I guess the only 9 new... Not, not new. Only 9 units per tier means... Um, you will be more likely to find the unit that you actually want. You will be more likely to find duplicates as well for um, level ups. Interesting change. Also limits the builds maybe. Mm. I don't know why they decided to do it, but sure. 9 units per, uh, per tier now. I see. Deal 4. Cuddlefish with the new ink mechanic. Give the last enemy ink, which makes abilities and their attacks to deal 3 less damage. Huh, would have been interesting if ink would have been a counter to like turkey as well. So it would buff units for less. But I guess the counter to turkey is to just kill it with snipes, so hmm, I guess. Cuddlefish is a counter like vulture and grizzly bear and stuff like that, so they deal less damage with the snipes. But it's um, it's not that incredible. 
It's got pretty good though, pretty good stats though. And can still remove like one ups and peppers and stuff like that in the back anyway. Worm. Uh, we don't really have um, too much interesting food. We've got donut though. But I don't, yeah, we don't really have random buffs, but we've got moose. Moose is still dishes out very powerful buffs. Paired with donut, you can just funnel buffs into a into like a rooster or whatever carry you would like to. So I think Moose will uh, be one of the best scalers now with Donut being in the shop. Like, it just removes uh, one of his downsides. It's not the buffs not random anymore. <laughs> I guess the downside would just remain the unfreeze shop part. Which is not the world's biggest deal. It definitely sucks like eliminating the freezing mechanic, freezing feature from your shop. But if you don't really want to make any more changes to your team, like if you still, if you don't have to pivot or stuff like that anymore, then it doesn't really matter if you don't get to free stuff. Sometimes it does suck though. Okay. Turtle, we've got pill and natural melon, lobster, donkey, nice for little turkey counters, lynx, whale. Whale will be interesting with Nyala. Like double eight trumpets should be amazing. Squirrel, rooster, and yeah, okay, Rooster should be nice, there's no real way of scaling it too easily. There is cross up but cross on 27, not that faint. The food is okay. I guess so. Um, I guess we'll see. I do see some cool synergies in tier 6 though. So maybe this would just be a weekly of survive until you get to late self. Donut, grapes, canned food. Hmm. Do I see any more donut buffs? Any more donut usages in this weekly pack? I don't think so. No more random buffs. Okay. Let's go to tier 5. White Whale. Which is just protection for the unit. And also doesn't kill a unit right away like the regular whale. Interesting. I guess you can just use it with Nayala. Or with even... Nah. You'd like to use White Whale to just um, protect your... Uh, like wolves, slugs, even anteater, whatever. Also, snake plus white whale is just nuts, because that's just one extra attack for the snake. And then if you have like a slug inside of it, that has like three guaranteed attacks as well. Yeah, white whale can be a very, very powerful tool. The Yala, pretty cool unit. A lot of trumpets. Bad stats for a tier 5, but the trumpet is amazing. A lot of them with 1-up Nyala is actually peanuts or with chocolate cake, don't have them. Turkey, summon build, I guess you could, you could even play summon build with a rooster, I guess. Whale, rooster, turkey, Nyala, yeah, Nyala, whale or white whale should be uh, the go-to for uh, It's not really amazing for like turkey teams because you don't get a unit out of it, but you do get double trumpets out of it. Just still nice. Lambfish, always amazing. Moose, maybe with Donut we're gonna see the, the moose being uh, at least decent again. We've got a Poodle. Hmm. I guess it's never bad. Monkey, Char, Ammo. <sighs> I think Battle Push when you just fell ahead to the front, give it plus 4, plus 8, plus 12 HP. Interesting unit. I guess you know, it's gonna be uh, pretty powerful for Snake. I sense Snake being a crazy unit this um, this weekly pack. We've got the Tiger as well. So you can just have like White Whale plus... Let's see. White Whale plus um, Rooster or Osprey, I guess. Because so you have 1, 2 and 3 attacks from the Summon. That's guaranteed 3 attacks. If you have a pepper in a white whale, which is not present here, that's guaranteed 4 attacks, I suppose. Not guaranteed, because like pepper can get sniped first and stuff like that. Or I don't know, maybe like the enemy has um Iguana, I guess. Or I guess Royal Flycatcher should be the next step up from Iguana. So if the enemy has one of those two that kills summons before they get to attack, that can still stop the snake, but there's no such thing here. So I think this should be one of the craziest uh Late game builds, Snake is gonna be incredibly strong. Coffee by himself. But yeah, also wait, what I want to say about ammo, because you just do White Well Rooster or Osprey in front, 
and then after the last summon dies, then you push like something in front again. That could just be another white whale plus another osprey or through star. So yeah, tiger snake should um, should be pretty nuts. And the way to come with this is snipes, I guess. Level two, level three links to make sure the snake or the tiger dies. I guess then is melon free snakes, and that's not the best plan. Woodpecker maybe. Maybe snake is definitely gonna be second, but maybe even yeah, it could be uh, could be third as well. Okay, chocolate makes the uh, makes bills that need levels even stronger. Like yeah, sure. Cavet still mm, not amazing. Cavet, I guess you've got turtle. You can use cavets maybe somehow. Okay, teal six, which is. Pretty nuts. We've got poor, nothing to write home about. You can have Teranodon though. Teranodon plus Mammoth plus Tiger behind Mammoth. No one ups though, no one ups, which is um which is a bit sad, would have made Teranodon even crazier. Okay, just activates the faint pets again. So activates Mammoth twice. If it's level 2, could activate two faint abilities. So if we had one up, a Mammoth could have been activated like four times in total with level 2 Teranodon with the Tiger behind the Mammoth as well. Yeah, could be a pretty amazing. Even without one up, we can still make a nice build out of this. Tiger, Mammoth, Teranodon in the back of your team. I guess you've got some stats to work with, but mm, it's not that crazy. We're definitely much more uh, stronger with. Uh, World Hog. Snake, which should be one of the best units in this pack, I think, late game. Ostrich. Sure, I don't really see too many units gaining stats easily, except for uh, using scalers like this. Piranha, nope. Tiger, sure. Can you... I wonder if it works with ammo. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because it uses first ability, fills the empty space, and the second Tiger ability does not qualify, I think. I think we I think we tried it as well. Okay, we've got catfish. The early gold build is a thing. So I guess you could have like a level 3 swan that's 3 gold. A magpie maybe, but not really. Gazelle to help you survive. And then catfish. Gold build definitely works well with pine cell and food build. That's what it wants to do. With a lot of gold, you definitely want to get as much stats as possible with, with them, I guess. It's not really useful if you just roll the shop looking for units, I guess. So, don't really have incredible food. Soft ice, stew, chocolate counts, salad bowl, mm, not amazing. Wait, no, not catfish, point of paradise. But yeah, we've got catfish as well, which works with uh, buying abilities. Do we have any? Doesn't look like it. No African penguin, no, oct no uh, blue ring octopus, no um, parakeet. <laughs> okay, I think bird of paradise should be okay, but I'm not sure if you will be able to spend 16 gold. You'll be able to get 3 plus maybe 1 2 grapes, you get 14 15, and then you buy and sell, so you cheat like 1 gold out of the system. It's a doable 16, but. Hmm, depends. Without level 3 swan, not doable. Okay. And melon, soft ice, popcorn. Would have been nice if popcorn would uh, at least uh, summon a random pet from the same tier, but like from the whole tier, not just from the pack. <laughs> like the orc does, summon a random faint unit from the whole game. Okay, should be an interesting weekly pack. I can't, uh, can't wait to see what people are gonna come up with. And hopefully, um, hopefully we're not gonna see anything too, too broken. 